Hank. Man eating fish in Jersey. What do you got? Were you the one man enough to run that fish stringer through his mouth sure, and out yeah. the other side? I the tell you what, I'm puppet. not doing it. You know, but the thing is, we there he is. Hey, I can yeah, see him lurking is. around yeah. down there. That son of a gun. Bill, Ron Rossi and his son Frank were doing a little Father's Day fishing behind the house in Delran on Sunday. They got a hit on the line, reeled him in, and realized pretty quickly what they had was no bass fish. See a bass, when you grab it, a lot of times you just put your thumb in its mouth and hold it up like that. Uh-huh. Right? You don't do it with this fish. No. This thing will take your, your thumb off. Your... Yo. Don't get too close. All right. He's good size, too. Yeah, it looks like a prana, but it's a lot bigger than what a normal prana would be. Oh, look at those teeth. Pretty good guess, actually. Uh, Ron did his research. Turns out it's a paku fish, a species with human-like teeth that is not, uh, repeat, not native to Swedes Lake or any other lake in North America. Wait, what's it called, Hank? Paku fish, P-A-C-U. The fish paku. is commonly found, Bill, in South America, where the locals call it the nutcracker because apparently it's got a rep for going straight in and biting people right where it matters the most. Yeah, he look, so I'm not taking a nuts. chance on him, man. He'd do away with our fingers easy. Yep. And, and, and whatever private. <laughs> <laughs> the experts say uh, the Paku was probably abandoned uh, in the lake by an exotic fish tank owner when it got too big. Ron says he reached out to State Fish and Wildlife to see what he ought to do with the thing. They just said that uh, destroy it. Is it destroy it? Yes, yeah, destroy it. Because well, it would normally die anyway because of the winter weather. And Bill Ron says he told them that he would abide by those instructions, but he confided to me he'd really rather fish and wildlife come down and do it themselves. But wait a minute. How about we take that sum gun out and scrape the gills off and cut his head off, fillet him and grill him out on the back porch. <laughs> Thank you. And he just uh, laughed, but he says they're supposed to be good eating. They're supposed to be good eating. Really? Yes. I'm just playing. Uh, uh, do you no, think? No, but they're, they're supposed well, to be. I, give oh, it a no. shot. You, no, it might be no. your last opportunity. I, At the end of the day, Ron's actually a really good guy, and he doesn't really look forward to having to do away with the fish. As far as I know, that Paku is still swimming around on a line behind the house. So that's the question. What should he do? Uh, this is not like one of the seven signs of the apocalypse, right? <laughs> See what I did there? You like that?